Hello friends, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about paginated reports and uh, using Power BI data set as a source and where we need to use non-additive measures. Uh, what does that mean is like, for example, we have something like distinct customer or a distinct product or something like that. Uh, in Power BI, all those measures work fine, but when we get to the paginated report, we see some funny results. And we will, in this video, we will try to understand what is happening and what is the solution to overcome uh, this non-additive measures in paginated reports when we are using Power BI data set as a source. Uh, to begin, let's look at a, a simple a model in Power BI and look at a, a distinct customer measure and see how does it works when we are looking at the different granularity in the hierarchy and what is the challenge using the same measure in the paginated report. Uh, let's get to Power BI. So here I have a very, very simple model just to demonstrate. Uh, so what I have is a, a, a sales table and a product table and product table has in a hierarchy. Uh, what we have here is a, a product category, subcategory and the product. And then I have a one measure here, which is a distinct customer from my sales table. And that measure is pretty straightforward. It's a distinct count of sales customer. So if we look at this uh, at the in Power BI, everything looks correct. So just to make sure uh, uh, what I mean by that is when we are at the product level, P1 has a three distinct customer. The, the three distinct customer purchase the P1 product. And similarly, P2, there are three distinct uh, customer who purchase uh, P2. Now, when this, if we look at that, this is a three on the P1 and three on the P2, it means there could be some common customers between these two at the product level. So, but we are seeing at the product level, we are seeing getting a distinct customer count. But when we go at the subcategory level, the total is four, it is not six. It's not like three plus three is six. The reason why it is four, it means there are common uh, customers between P1 and P2. So when we are looking at the PS1, which is a subcategory level, S means subcategory, then we are getting four. So basically this is the row context. Again, keep in mind the row context kicking in. And then what it is doing is when we are at the subcategory level, we are looking at all the sales done at the product level for that subcategory. And then we're getting a distinct count. And that's is how, why we are getting it four. And then when we go to the one level up, let's uh, collapse it. So at the, Subcategory level, we have a four uh, customer who purchased, uh, distinct customer who purchased, uh, we had a sale, or at the PS2, which is another subcategory has a two. Now, when we look at the category level, this is not like a four plus two is equal to six. So it means there are the common customers between subcategories, and then the distinct of those is coming out to be five. Similarly, at the PC2, which is a, a category two, so PS1 has a one subcategory under this. There's a two customer, distinct customer. PS3 has a two distinct customer. But at the PC2 level, there are only two distinct customer. And so we, uh, underneath we have only one measure, which is a distinct count as we see here. We have only one measure, which is distinct customer count, which is distinct count of sales customers. So that's pretty straight, uh, one measure. And depending on the what level we are looking uh, in the hierarchy, the calculation is working perfectly fine. And when it we get to the total, so if I collapse it one level up, so if we look at the category level, which is the top level, so we have a five distinct customer PC1, two distinct customer PC2, and uh, four distinct customer in PC3. Even the total of these three call, uh, rows is 11, but when at the total level, it is only eight. The reason behind that is that because there could be a common customer between PC1, PC2, and PC3, and this this is the correct. This this is working perfectly fine. One by year, and it solved everything depending on how we are slicing and dicing the data. But let's say now we have this by year and this Power BI data set has been published. As I see, uh, you know, talked about paginated reports and Power BI data sets. Uh, there is a whole lot playlist about paginated report which I created. And uh, 
uh, I talked about way how you, what things you need to be take care of when you're using Power BI data set as in the paginated reports. Uh, if it was SQL Server, there are many other ways to do that or other sources you can do uh, things in paginated report. But when you're using Power BI data set, then the uh, measures become critical part of uh, visualizing uh, or creating the paginated reports. So now I created the I published this uh, Power BI report in the service and then I use the same data set in uh, in the paginated report. So I'm going to switch to paginated report. So here I, if you look at that, uh, I just ran the paginated report using the same uh, measure distinct customer count. So if you look at the category P PC1 and the subcategory PS1, uh, so P1 and P2 is correct. At the, that granularity, the numbers are okay. But when we look at the subcategory level, what we have in the paginated report is just three plus three is equal to six. It's giving the, now the problem with the paginated report is there is no contact with the row context. So this is where, where the issue coming in because what we are doing here is if we look at the design of the paginated report and uh, the lowest granularity is product and we are getting the distinct customer. But when we are at the subcategory level, when we're grouping it together, we're just doing the sum of distinct customer. So what does the sum means? So the, the lowest granularity, which is the product, we're getting three and three for two products uh, as a distinct customer. When it comes to the subcategory level, it is just summing up those numbers together. And that's why we're getting the six. And let me run this report again. And just to make sure we see it. So th this is incorrect. And similarly, now, when we are in a uh, different subcategory, it has uh, here it is fine because there's only one product under this. And when we get to the category PC1 total, when we go to the category level, the total is coming out eight. And the reason the total is coming out to be eight, it is actually summing up all the products together. So it's a three plus three is six plus two, eight. So if we look at the Power BI report side by side, and uh, let's expand uh, those. Uh, level so p1 and p2 is 3 3 which is perfectly fine here is p1 p2 3 3 and when we are the ps1 which is a subcategory level we are getting four which is correct because there is a unique four customers who purchased at the at this level but when we are looking at the subcategory ps1 total here it is coming up to six where it's supposed to be four and similarly when we are doing at the uh, other uh, uh, sub levels we are getting the incorrect re result and a look at the category PC3 total. So here category PC3 total is four and I'm getting here five. So because again, it is three plus two is equal to five. Whereas at the product level, three plus two is equal to five is, is looks correct. But when we are at the subcategory level, it is only a distinct count at the subcategory level, which is turned out to be four. And PC3 has only one category. So the total is turned out to be four. So now, now we know, I think we know what the problem is. And um, so the, 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 there's no concept. The reason again, just want to uh, uh, highlight here. The reason here is in Power BI, there is a con concept of the row context filter and the row context, depending on what level we are looking at, it is calculating the distinct count. And that's why everything is one measure and it's working fine in Power BI. But when we get to the paginated report, unfortunately, there is no concept that uh, row, there is a concept of the row context, but only at the lowest granularity we are looking at. If, if we're looking at the uh, product level and that's what we are getting in paginated report. And then after that, everything is just an addition. Once we get the uh, distinct count of the product level, the subcategory level is, there's no concept of the row context at that level. It's only summing up the all the values of the product level granularity and, and giving us the total which is incorrect so so what's the solution the solution here is again what we need to do is this is a, a, a only way i find out like what we need to do here is we need to calculate the measure at the each granularity and then use that in our pageant report uh, let me show you what what does that mean so I already created a measure here because I don't want to spend too much time on the Power BI side as this video is more on the paginated report. And I also did a video uh, recently on the uh, remove filters and all selected and uh, other stuff. So I'm just going to show you guys what I did here is. So I added two more measures. Actually, each granularity I added the measure. So 
one I added at the subcategory level. What is that measure is doing? It's taking the base measure, which is a distinct customer, and then removing the filter on the product. So what does that mean is it will give me the subcategory total at the each product level. So let me drop this measure here in the visualization. So here you go. So what you see here is, so let me just make it small. So when we are at the product level, P1 and P2, our subcategory total is turned out to be whatever that's supposed to. So the subcategory total is for PS1 is four. And this is why we are getting the four here. When I go to a different, um, uh, here we have a two, one subcategory PS1. So I'm getting a total four here. So basically what we're doing is at the each row level, at each product level, because what we need to see is everything from the product level point of view. Product is the lowest granularity. That's what is in pagina report is used as the lowest granularity. And based on, so what we need to do is to create the measures that they return uh, the, the values at the product level. So what I'm trying to do here is get the subtotal, subcategory total at the product level. So that's why this measure is giving me the four. So that's again, I'm removing the filter on the product so that uh, there's no filter coming up on the row context to this measure. And uh, that's why we're getting the number four, which is a subcategory uh, total. Uh, similarly, I created a measure for the category. So to create the measure for the category, the base measure is still distinct customer. And I'm removing the filter from the product, which is the level, uh, the, the lowest level, and also removing the filter on the subcategory. So if I bring this measure in my visualization here, uh, let's see. So what we see here is at the product level, at the P1 and P2, because this is the lowest granularity again, I'm getting the category total. So that's a category total, which is five. Uh, the base measures work perfectly fine, but for the pagina reports, we are creating these additional measures. So at the product level, I'm getting them five and all for PC one, all the products under the PC one, I am getting the total five. And similarly for PC two, which is a category the the topmost level, I'm getting the uh, distinct count of uh, two. And similarly for PC three, I'm getting a distinct count of four. So what I'm trying to do is at the product level, I'm getting the subcategory distinct count and also the category total. And again, now this is a category and subcategory, but then there could be a grand total at the bottom. As you can see, there's an eight in here. What we need to do here is uh, I create another measure, which is pretty much removing the filter from the product table. I can either use this if I'm using a some uh, slices and all that stuff, it could be all selected products. So depending what you want to do. Again, I did another video on remove filters and all selected. Uh, I will put the link of that video in the description. So do check out that one. Um, again, the, the, uh, the reason of this video is more on the paginated side of things. So if I bring this measure into my, that's great, uh, total measure in here. Uh, so what we see at each product level, I'm getting a total eight. The reason I'm getting the total eight because that is the distinct count at the at the at the total level, and that's what we we created the three measures, one subcategory. So why we're creating these measures again to make sure um, you guys understood uh, that to get the subcategory, category, and the grand total at the product level, and that's what we are removing the filter. So what does that mean? Is once we have these additional measures in here. What we need to do is we need to go to the pagina report and then use these measures. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, so what I did here is um, in in my in my pagina report I brought all the measures uh, just to sh show you guys. In the queries I have a distinct customer measure which is the base measure and then distinct customer subcategory measures and distinct customer category measures and the customer total measures. So basically four uh, totals, all the measures which we created in Power BI, I brought all those measures in here. And then what we did in the in the pagina report at the subcategory grouping level, uh, instead of using the sum of the distinct customer, which is the base measure, we are using the max of distinct, uh, again, just to make sure that, uh, uh, that we all know what does that means. So if I go to the expression of this, 
So I'm using max when I'm at the subcategory group level at the looking at the subgroup uh, category total. I'm taking the subcategory measure, which is which is the name of the measure here, and taking the max of that. You can't use the sum because the sum is coming out going to be if we use a sum here, that is going to sum everything. This is going to be four plus four is equal to eight. So since this at this granularity with the PS1, uh, if we, I do the max of this, it's going to give me the 4. And here the max is going to be the 2. And similarly, when I'm at the category level, if I do the max, uh, the max is going to be 5 when I'm looking at the PC1. And when I'm looking at the PC2, the max is going to be 2 because this is the same number repeated. So max or min, doesn't matter what you use, it's going to be the same. And uh, so what we want to make sure that when we are uh, using those measures at the subcategory level or the uh, at the category level, we are making sure the aggregation is changed to the max or min instead of sum. This is what I did. And similarly at the total level, so this is the, the, this, the, the total which we seeing the eight uh, at, at, at the at the total level, the eight distinct customer. So I again use that measure and put the max in here. So if I run the report now, so this should match with the Power BI report now. So here you go. So at the P1, we have a three, P2, we have a three, but when I'm looking at the subcategory level, it is four, it is not three plus three, six. And uh, similarly in PS2, we are getting two, but when I go to the category level, it is five. It is not before it was showing us eight and I, everything is working fine and also at the grand total level it is eight distinct customer uh, across all the categories all the subcategories in the product so this now the result matches with what is in power bi having said that uh, you know in power bi uh, when we were doing the non-additive measures like in this one the distinct count uh, you know everything worked fine at with one measure at every granularity because the row filter uh, helped us to achieve that but in paginated report, uh, whatever the granularity we are bringing the data at, uh, that is the only uh, row filter get passed to the measures. And after that, everything is uh, is just an addition within the Power BI, uh, sorry, in paginated report. So what you need to do is you need to create a measure for each level. And if you, if you have a, uh, this kind of need, and then use those measures at the group level. Uh, here I did the grouping in paginated report and then make sure it's not sum, it is a max, because then that will be the, um, the value will be used. Uh, so anyhow, I hope you learned a couple of things out of this. Um, yeah, again, uh, I, I work very closely with Paginate Reports and I run into these kind of challenges, uh, you know, uh, here and there. And uh, I like to share all of this with you guys so that you can learn from it and implement in your um, the, use in your solutions. Do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.